Inkproducts.com will soon release its new CIS ink tank system for the Canon Pro 10 wide format printer. It has 10 colors, uses a pigment ink. The system will come with everything with the Ultra Pro pigment ink. Going to get everything to install it. I'm going to show you how to install it in this video. Now there's a lot of cartridges to deal with. So, in the kit you're going to get a pair of rubber gloves. I normally don't wear them, but now, if you don't do this right, it could become very messy. So I just want to point that out. Something else. We don't supply these, but I do recommend you get them and you fold the hose, which will do, and put those clips on. Now when you first get it, I mean the install is fairly simple. It's got the chain hose bracket, tie wraps, the lid jumper, standoff, and this is our exclusive hose chain that will hold the hose because these have don't forget this is a 10 cartridge printer so it's quite a bit of hose there you're gonna get the double loop hose bracket now when you first get it follow the instructions that come with it but you always want to lay it down face down and then you could stand it up that's gonna balance it balance the isobaric chamber because ink will get in it when you ship. And the other thing you have to do is put the hose in the double loop bracket. We show you how to do that. It comes up, goes back down like that. Now I have a set of cartridges in there now. Some are Canon, which by the way we make a refill kit for, and we have the chip resetter. Some of our refillables and some we sell just filled cartridges very inexpensive if you just don't want to do any refilling or anything like that. Now I'm going to hold the pause button. It tells you that in the instructions right there. And that'll bring the cartridge assembly over. Now what I'm going to do is unplug it. I'm going to reach behind the printer and plug it. Because we want to be able to move it back and forth and you can't do that under power. That's where that jumper, that green jumper, lid jumper goes. So it thinks this lid is completely closed. And it will be down to about where the bracket is. So once it gets to the center, then I'll unplug it. Can I put the hose up to the double loop bracket there. And I put on those large paper clips. I folded the hose. That's going to stop any ink from running back and forth while I'm putting it in. I also ran a nozzle check. Everything's working. So that's good. I unplugged it. Now you're going to see air in the hose. That's okay. That's okay. Don't pay no attention to that because that's going to disappear after you start printing. That's going to rise in the cartridge and create an air break. So it's actually no problem. Now you can see I got different type of cartridges in here. I'm just going to unclick them and take them out. I've got some of our refillables. I've got some of the... Uh, it's going to be some ink leaking all over, so you should have a, some paper napkins handy. And these cannons can be refilled. We have a chip resetter for both our cartridges and the cannon. Now on the continuous ink system, you're going to shut off the ink monitor. You don't have to deal with any error codes or low ink warning. It's a lot better because otherwise you have to go in there and set, reset it with a chip resetter. I don't recommend that. I'm going to show you in the video how to turn off that ink monitor. What becomes the ink monitor is the bottles. You'll watch the level. That's the important thing. Not what the monitor says. And that's all going to disappear. You don't have to worry about the warning codes. Now I'm going to put paper napkin down and I'll place the cartridge up there. Now to take these cartridges out of a clip, now there's a rubber band I'm going to cut off in a minute. I just want to show you. The cartridge sits in the holder. 
if you push down on the orange in the back here, that cartridge is going to pop right up. So when you put them in, you go in like that, snap them down in. I'm going to unsnap them all. Have, like I said, a paper napkin handy because it can be, because I got to pick them all up and put them in there. So just take your time. Unclick them, get them set to go, take them out. And you can leave the, the tape that we have on the bottom. That'll hold all the clips together. And you want to save these clips. Should you ever have to prime the system, you will need it. Up, ready to go. I'll be sliding them out and sliding them into the print head. You don't have to worry about any gaskets or anything like that. Because this is a new design print head from Canon, doesn't require any additional gaskets. Okay, and I took my time putting them down in, checking the hoses, making sure I've got a no hoses were kinked or anything. Then once I push it all the way forward, you can hear it click in. Okay, now the hose bracket is going to be put up right here, just like that. This is all the way over that way. So you're going to peel and stick one here and one there. We thought we were going to need one there, but you're not going to need that one. So just in the video, disregard that. And then you're going to stick the outside double bracket on the side like this. So I'll peel and stick it. I line it up here with this edge like that. And then I go over here. I leave it about an inch away from this end. Now this is the interlock jumper. I'll put that in. Now anytime you want to get the cartridges, you're going to have to press that resume and stop button and make sure you take this out. Otherwise the, the cartridges will never come over. Okay, now I just put the interlock jumper in. Now remember, anytime you want to get these cartridges to come over after pressing the resume or stop, you must make sure this is out. Otherwise, it'll think the lid is still down. So I got one here, one here. There was going to be one here, not required, so it will not be in the parts kit, and just ignore that. You've got the other one on the outside, the double loop on the outside. I, I watched the flow of the of the hose, but you can put it on the hose and stick it on, however you want to do that one. Then I come over here, I go right here, and I'm going to put that lid standoff bracket like that. So that's going to stop it from laying on the chain hose. There again, that's going to go all the way over like that. I'm going to put the tie wraps in nice and tight. And you can see it's nice flow all the way over. And then we'll set the hose up and we'll do hose travel. Coming down into that one outside bracket. Got it up into the other double loop bracket there. And you must take them off. The only time I put them on is I have to take those cartridges physically out of the machine. And then make sure it's balanced. And then you're going to open up the little plugs. They must be open when printing. Now, when filling, you close the little plug like the instructions will show you, and you open up the big one. If you take both of them out, you got to put them both in and lay the bottles down to balance the chamber. Because all the ink will run from this into the isobaric chamber. This is going to protect against dust and a lot of extra light and you got a visual up front and then on the bottom here we tell you what color goes where like I said hang on to the orange clips so there I got that now we're gonna go up here and you're gonna look in here to make sure the hose is gonna flow flow correctly you're gonna watch how it's coming out now, I might tuck it right in over here just a little bit but it's going to come around. I'll move that little tie wrap up. 
It's going to come around, come out, one straight path. Then when we go all the way over, you want to make sure it'll make it all the way over. If not, you got to let out some hose. Now I made it all the way over. Then I'll bring it back over here. All the way over. So far it looks pretty good. Might have to take up a little slack because I noticed a little bit too much here. So, so I think I just have a little bit too much out. Tie wrap here. I tuck that back hose. One of the hoses are locked into the front clip here, like that. So it came around better. And sometimes you have to move this one. I had to take some slack out up here. So everything looks good. Go all the way over, and then I'll be able to close the lid like that. And then we'll be able to continually print. Now what I'm going to do, I'll show you how to shut off the ink monitor, but also I've already opened the plugs up. It's very important you do that before you turn the printer on. So now we'll go plug it in and turn it on. Orange flashing light. I took out my green jumper and one of these cartridges was not locked in. Go over them all. Okay, everything looks like it's good. Put the little green jumper back in. Close it. Cleaning. And I got a perfect nozzle check. Now I'm printing something out now. Runs very smooth, very quiet. Levels. I'm going to run a solid yellow sheet until it codes out. Then I can show you how to shut off the ink monitor for yellow and all the colors are going to be exactly the same. It'll go along, you'll get the exclamation, then it's going to come up with the red X and you follow the on-screen prompts. And it'll tell you actually how to turn it off. Okay, we're still printing the solid yellows. So far I haven't got the exclamation. Got to get that first and then we'll get the red X. Okay, now the yellow exclamation has finally shown up, so I can continue to keep printing the yellow till I see the big red X. Then we'll be able to shut off the ink monitor for that color. And you're going to do the same thing for all the colors. This way you can print continuously without any error codes or warning codes. Okay, we finally got the flashing light. Now I was printing out solid yellow with a color band at the bottom. So now let's go over to the printer. Okay, now I'm going to hold in on that. Continue to hold in. About two or three seconds and then I'm going to let go. Okay, the light went out. Now we got to go back over to the warning. Oh, it's completely blanked out. And there's no wreck. Red X at the top. 11 by 17. I just opened up the so you can see it doing it. Nice and smooth back and forth. Very good color, very good color. Now this printer also does prints on CDs and DVDs. That's what this here is and they give you the tray to do it. So it's quite a nice little printer. Plus it's using the pigment ink which is archival, waterproof. 
and they're really good quality. So for the latest in continuous ink systems, go to inkproducts.com. Continuous ink systems that really work.